So here we are in Shardlow, the very end of the Trenton Mersey Canal. Well, another mile or so is the very end. Uh, we're on the river section here, River Trent, and um, we're just off for a walk. We're going to go round the River Trent, across the bridge, and then back into the wonderful village of Shardlow. Yeah, we cruised through yesterday and were really surprised. Wasn't expecting it to be so pretty and so full of iconic old canal buildings. And yeah. I think it's the largest, uh, most well-preserved <laughs> village or canal village. Um, it's been called Little Rotterdam, did you say? Little Rotterdam? Rural Rotterdam Rural used Rotterdam. to be Rotterdam. called in the past. Uh, it's an inland port connecting four rivers to the canal, more or less. And uh, yeah, it's full of history. So we're going to have a wander back um, and just, you know, just a little bit of filming and see what we can find. But it looks lovely. A lot of the old buildings have been turned into flats and apartments now. Some of them are shops and stores, but yeah, it's just really lovely. So let's yes, go back and have very, a look. Very, very pretty. If the rain holds off. We got it then. We did yeah. that. That took six attempts. Yeah. <laughs> now it'll probably pour of rain and we'll have to stop. But anyway, off we go. Right. Catch you later. Oh, Jess, sorry. Either way. Guys on the boat disappearing behind the tree who recognised us. I'm the guy that makes the cakes. <laughs> uh, I hate to break it to them, but I'm the guy that made the cake. <laughs> <laughs> and I've not made such a good one since. No. <laughs> right. Anyway, how'd you feel, Fran? Oh, Joe, I'm absolutely stuffed because we went for a beer after I walked around the town and the roast dinner smelled so good. We were very reluctant to go in because often we're disappointed, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. But on this occasion, we won. <laughs> I can't remember oh. the pub's name. It's on the junction. I've, it's gone out of my head, but it's... Oh, there it is. It's on the bottom of the screen. Is it, <laughs> is it the navigation? No, I, no, really I don't know. think it is. Anyway, it, it's a Marsden's pub. So you're always disappointed when you go for food in pub chains, pubs. But this was really good. Really, really tasty. Vegetable pie with the Sunday roast. So we've had a lovely walk. Yeah, and I've found some plums growing on a tree. Not many of them, but a few little cherry plums. A couple Grow of dessert. beers now, <laughs> and uh, head home. Siesta. Feet up, siesta, and uh, move on tomorrow. Lovely village. I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend a yeah, walk around. Yeah, great. Come to Shardlow, have a walk around, and enjoy a few beers at the many pubs that are here. Yeah. Come on, then. Come on. <laughs>
that's a bright one, Fran. It is a bright that's one. That's gorgeous. And I've been a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I just wanted to weave and I didn't have any inspiration. And I stood looking in the yarn chest and um, Rich kindly picked colours out for me and I think the artist has come out. <laughs> and I really, really have a struggle, a problem with pink and yellow. But you can see in bits of here, I've actually worked with pink and yellow together. I don't know why, but I don't like it, the colours normally, but that works okay. I'm really pleased. It's super long, 200 centimetres long, really bright. And it's all this wool we picked up in Wales from a lady who keeps her own sheep and goats, really nicely kept. I'm really happy with it. It was quite expensive wool to buy, um, which will be reflected when we put it in the shop. But yeah something a bit different for me look at that <laughs> I love it absolutely love yeah. it not for everybody but then there's more subtle things that have been made for those that don't like to stand out in a crowd and you certainly will with that wouldn't you So we spent our first few nights on the River Saw. Really pretty, next to the world's biggest weir. Well, it sounds like it's it. It's anyway. so noisy, it's really like Victoria noisy. Falls over there. <laughs> but uh, really enjoyed it. It's a really lovely stretch of canal. Uh, we're about half a mile from East Midlands Airport mm. and we're on the direct flight path. Uh, so we're getting all these Ryanair planes come over, but the best thing we've just had a Spitfire circle around us. So I hope I've caught it on the camera, but I don't think the lens is big enough. But that was exciting. So where are we moving to today, Fran? Uh, going maybe just two miles to Zoch. Zoch. Spelt Z-O-U-C-H, how it gets its name, it doesn't sound very English, but we may more there. If not, we're going to have to go either into Luff Loughborough itself or past. Don't really feel like mooring up in town today, but we really want to visit Loughborough. It looks like there's lots to see there. So it's either a short journey or maybe a very long one, but yeah. we'll go with the flow. We'll just see what happens. The weather's good. Um, yeah, we've had a couple of days working hard on the boat, so it's quite nice to be out actually, isn't it today? Yeah, I've been editing reluctant to move here for one reason only and that's because the Wi-Fi here is fantastic yeah and uh, managed to watch a film or two and upload a new video so who knows what it's going to be like because from all it was all the way back near Burton on Trent right up to Trent Junction so many miles so many days we've just had really iffy Wi-Fi so who knows? Maybe we'll have to get the books and the cards out again tonight. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. See you later.
It's about five o'clock and we've just moored up, so quite a long day cruising for us. We've done five miles, two locks, trip into the town and back, and just found this lovely little spot. Went into Loughborough Basin, there's room for about six boats I think yeah. in there, it's a lovely yeah. little spot. Went in, got my books, did a bit of shopping. Found, found a market. Found a market with a fantastic vinyl record store. Oh my God, I could have spent all day there. <laughs> I came away with a couple of records and... Um, Hang on a minute, one of those couple of records was a box set. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's great. Uh, so yeah, got the books, got the box set. You found a fruit and veg shop, which you're yep. really pleased about. Yeah. Popped into the supermarket. Couldn't get into where we wanted to moor, could we? The guy sold us there's a fishing competition. There's about 150 fishermen lining the canal bank. And we don't want to be surrounded by people, and I'm sure they don't want to have us running no. up and down with the dogs. <laughs> so we thought it was best to move on a bit. We found this lovely little spot. The railway line is just there. It's a bit noisy, but um, we don't care. And uh, apparently it's going to rain tomorrow. But it doesn't matter now, does it? Because we've got new books, you've got records to listen to. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter if we haven't got internet, because we can do all of that. All we need is the paper in the morning, because it's Saturday tomorrow. We'll have a walk in the morning, and that's it. Nothing matters. So, end of a fantastic day. Yeah. <laughs>